Today, what does a yield curve inversion really signal? Hello again, I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Today we consider whether the shape of the yield curve is a good indicator of a future recession in the US. Well, to answer that question, let's look at the longer term trends using data from one of our favourite data sources, FRED, the St. Louis Fed datasets, which contains a wide range of useful indices, and I'll put a link below. Here is the plot for the 10-year rate since 1980. The shaded areas are US recessions, when the economy shrank, generally seen as a negative indicator, and certainly unemployment rose, as is clearly evident as a direct result of the recessions. But now let's look at the 10-year rate from the 1980s and overlay the three-month rate also. And here's the thing. Prior to each of the last three US recessions, the short-term rate overtook the long-term rate in a classic inversion of the yield curve. And, as we see, recessions follow consistently. The logic behind the inverted yield curve as a recession indicator is simple. If long-term yields are lower than short-term yields, the market's view is that growth will slow in the coming years. And more often than not, that view has been right. From this, we can say that there is clear evidence that once the yield curve does reverse, a recession will likely follow. But what does that tell us about the current situation? Well, currently short-term rates have been rising sharply, more so than long-term rates, as the Fed draws in their QE horns. If that trend continues, the yield curve will go negative, and in that case, a US recession is highly likely. And on current trajectory, that could happen within a couple of years. However, beware, because there were cases when the US yield curve inverted, but a recession did not follow. For example, in the late 1980s, the yield curve inverted and then steepened again, before inverting again later on, and then a recession did hit. The curve also inverted very briefly in the late 1990s too, and again in 2005 and 2006. However, the trends, to my mind, do signal a recession, but the timing does vary. Sometimes it happens in just a few months, in other cases it takes a year or two. But it does look like a yield inversion is an important signal to watch for, Worth bearing in mind when people are talking about all the reasons why the stock market in the US should go higher still. As always, if you like what you've seen here today, please share and like the post and add a comment or question. I read them all. And if you want to join the growing band of subscribers who receive alerts when we release new posts, do subscribe now. I'm Martin North of Princeton Anderson Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.